So, Sarah. Yes. I want to talk about work because mm-hmm. I've got a lot to say about this being a female. Yeah. And my experience, especially working in retail, like a corporate job, and how as a yeah. female I've seen manage like manager roles how I feel personally being like a sales assistant Mm -hmm. and like the interactions I have with men and also asserting some sort of power as a female yeah because I don't know about you but I find the male bosses I've had they they're like really respected but for me I've always been small and this is an (laughs) issue for me because imagine me like right so imagine me telling you Sarah, foul no, you've not acted up right, I'm not happy with you mm-hmm. in the office. Would you be scared of me? Well, I don't know it's about being scared, but yeah. obviously it's having like a respect, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, more so for whoever the authority is above yeah. you sort of thing. Um, I think in one way it is it could be some people don't like age as one thing. So I yeah. guess having somebody younger telling them kind of what to do, especially I guess if you've come in let's say you came in after me and I'm thinking well I know a little bit more than you you know I, mm. I've heard that from people mm-hmm. you know where they've gone well I don't know who this young person thinks that they are and they're going to tell me what to do whereas myself I'm one of those people where if that's your job that's your job so if you're my boss you're my boss regardless mm-hmm. of whether you're younger than me or not um but I do feel sometimes that as women we're not taken as seriously yeah compared to men definitely in certain respects because it's sort of like myself personally I'm one of those people where I speak my mind Mm -hmm. and it can come across I guess um bad in some respects Mm -hmm. my belly's rumbling she's (laughs) hungry she's hungry guys see this is what I mean we don't even get fed like this isn't fair being a female is so hard we don't even get fed I thought it was gonna (laughs) cook like you were gonna I can't lie I'm starving oh my god but yeah, myself as as a woman, I I'm quite an assertive person, and I've not always been like that. Um, I would take orders from you because, like you yeah. say, you've not always been like that. But no, I've not. if I didn't know you and you told me to do something, I would do it because, and I would respect you yeah. as well because the way you say things are like you very like say assertive. So I think it depends, yeah. if, like for you as well. But I think women in general struggle with that having that dominance because we're yeah, because nurturers we can be, I think we can be misconstrued in a yeah. certain way because I've had it said to me sort of thing you know I've been very straightforward with how I want something to be mm-hmm. or how I perceive something and gone you know no it shouldn't be done like this and it's this that and the other and just given my opinion across I've had male co-workers go oh careful she's on a period exactly this is what I mean because even when you are assertive you're seen as sassy if I hear that yeah. word thrown about <laughs> sassy I'm not sassy if that's a man that says that they're like all right he knows what he's doing he's a professional yeah man. he's a professional guy yeah. look at him he knows what he's doing is you know he's so cool and confident mm-hmm. with the way he is and you know but Again, it, it's sort of like, I guess even as a guy, he can be like called passionate. He could get angry over something mm. and it's like, no, do you know what, people? I'm sick of this and you need to do this, that and other. And again, exactly. as a woman, we're emotional. And look at her, she's going to cry. No. Or like, it's like when you say, tell your partner to do something and someone's around and like, you're just, you're sick of it now. You want that thing yeah. doing. Oh, what have you done to upset? Have you oh, done something wrong? Yeah. You're nagging now. Yeah. You know? You're I mean, a nagger, you're have, annoying. We have that little joke, don't we, between us and some of the, the, the male co-workers here. Yeah. Not oh, name, yeah. Not naming no not names. Naming we'll names. call him. Um, let's try and think of Dom. a name. Dom. Yeah, Dominic. Dom. Uh, yeah, we'll say Dominic. Dom. Okay. Yeah, Dominic. you know who you are, Dominic. Dominic's just not a nice name. Sorry. I know. Sorry about that, guys. So yeah, so Dominic. You know, we can have a bit of a banter with him, can't we? So yeah, we, we'll say something like, "Oh, can you do this?" Because we need something doing. You yeah. know, within the studio, and he'll go, "Oh, you're nagging." So yeah, we're nagging. He'll go, "You're just as bad as my wife. You are. You sound yeah. like my wife. You do." But we, it's that we have a laugh with it. But yeah. I think if it was, you know we didn't have that mutual understanding yeah then it would it wouldn't be 
mm-hmm. and laugh. It isn't funny because obviously if a man was to come along and say, right, this is what I need doing within the studio. I need this doing, I need this doing, I need this doing. It's sort of like, all right, cool. All right, do you want your shoes, shoes cleaning as well? Because I'll do that for you as well. Yeah, right. just get on with it. Yeah. But as a woman, I think sometimes, not all men, I guess, but... Um, I think they feel a little bit uncomfortable with a woman telling them this is what you have to do. Probably. That's probably true. And it's even like subconsciously, they're not even thinking about that they feel like that way, but they do. And that's again because of society in general, job roles and how like... It, it, it dates back like traditional job roles women would not be seen at the top that, no. that's not something that would even have been normal to even within the household because obviously it's something I guess that from the household roles that have overlapped within mm-hmm. to the the professional roles so I think maybe that's why if, if a guy has very traditional roles within the household they might find it hard to be flexible within yeah. a working environment well that goes into household job roles as well we yeah. go to work all day and we're expected to cook clean do the dishes <laughs> especially I've not even really had this experience yeah. much you've had this for god knows how many years where mm-hmm. you've had to put up with this and I don't know how you have but then as as well, we're expected to do everything else. They come home from work, they've had a hard day at work, so they want their tea on the table and they don't have to do anything else. But yeah. we've been to work too. Yeah, I think with my life, it's a little bit different because my husband, he does pull his weight. He's pretty good with those sort of things. But it's sort of like the unwritten rule that I automatically would do it, if that makes sense. Because it's, again, subconscious in your brain. Like you've Possibly. seen your mum do that. You've seen your grandma do that. So yeah. then to you, that's just like, it's normal yeah, that I'll, you I'll would... be at work all day absolutely knackered we've done you know how much filming or interviews and we've been doing all the stuff that we've been Mm -hmm. doing and then get home six o'clock and I'll still rush as soon as I get in wash my Mm -hmm. hands you know take clothes off wash my hands get on with cooking the dinner because I've got to get everything ready for the kids Mm -hmm. that's not necessarily at the forefront of my husband's mind unless I tell him or ask him to do it so I'd have to say can you cook dinner tonight because you know I'm yeah you have the- to ask that's yes. very true I see that quite but often. he would never yeah. have to ask me can you cook dinner because it would just be done because yeah so I guess that's something that I've just naturally gone into don't mm. know where or why that's come from because it's again instinct sort yeah. of thing but I must say though that he does like all the washing up so I do the cooking I never have to wash up yes I do the cooking yes I do the cleaning you know <laughs> he does all the laundry I don't do it I don't wash clothes yeah. but in that same um, like respect what I want to know is does <laughs> does, does your man what should we call it we'll bleep that out we'll bleep that out <laughs> Does your man, does yeah. he come food shopping with you? Or is that not normal? No. See, this is crazy to me because no. I, my mum and dad have always done food shopping together. Really? But th- I didn't know that that's actually not seen as normal. Yeah, do you know what? No. So, right, my mum, when she used to go food shopping, she'd go with my stepdad because he drove and she didn't drive. Mm-hmm. So, but he would drive and stay in the car. Read his newspaper. Stay in the car. Yeah, like read, read the paper or whatever. So no. she'd do all the food shopping. Like, he'd give her the money for it. She'd do all the food shopping. And then, and then they out. think because they pay, they'd have to do it. I would possibly, yeah. You know, it's one of those where I don't think I've really deeped the You've whole situation. You've not deeped that situation. It was only when my partner's mum went food shopping yeah. and his dad didn't go with her. And I was like, that's not normal in my household. Like, they do it together. They share the cooking responsibilities, though, because maybe it's that. Because well, in my household, it's like, cook for yourself, really, because we all finish work at different times. So that's... Right. But they've always been, like, sharing roles in cooking, yeah. Yeah, because I think that's where the main difference is with me and my husband. So mm. he'll cook probably once a week, um, mm. and then the rest of the time I'm cooking. So for myself, I just go food shopping because not only do I not stick to a list... Because he's mm. very, like, he will literally stick to a list. So if I was to write a shopping list and say, right, these are things I need you to get, he, he would go. Yeah. If, you know, again, if I'd asked him to go food shopping. But you have to ask. But, but yeah, but then also he he wouldn't look into, like, when I would put, say, lasagna with salad and, um, let's say, garlic bread or mm-hmm. whatever for dinner, and I'd put down the elements, but then I forgot to put olives on the list, let's say, or he peppers. He wouldn't use his initiative to... No, because, he yeah. wouldn't think... Because he's just sticking to the list. Mm-hmm. Whereas I would look at my list and then go, oh, you've got to put olives on. You need that for the yeah. salad. Oh, you need to get some peppers. You don't have that in the fridge. And I would st- I would add to that. Mm. So there have been times when he has been food shopping, but I've not been happy with that because he doesn't get the thing. So you have to stress at home the whole time because you know that yeah. they're not going to do it how you would do it. But I think that, again... Yeah, so it works for us. As I females, think- I think... I don't know if this is generalising us, but I like doing something on myself because I know if I give my partner it to do, it's not going to be done right. 
I guess so. So there is that. Yeah, I, I think with the food shop, and that's probably why he does the the washing as well, like the laundry and stuff. Because oh, I would not trust. Yeah, because he hands. doesn't like the way I do it. Because I I think he likes to do things like on a certain couple of days, and I'll just wash things every single day. God, you're wasting money. I know, and energy. that is a waste of money. And the laundry powder and stuff. But and stuff your knickers like that. are always ready on your bed. So why do you? Well, have to I, I have loads now, so it's already. There you go. Your favourite so jumper, matter. washed, sorted. Yeah, he does it all, folds it up, it's on the bed, and Aww. I just have to pack it away. So it works. Not see, traditional. See, there's pros and cons. There's pros and cons, but I think yeah. the tradition, will it will slowly die, but I think, God, it will take, it's taken its time. I won't lie. And yeah. I'm not going to lie. You I do don't... meet some guys who literally wouldn't even pick up a hoover. Yeah. Oh, you do. Yeah. One thousand percent. They they think, well, because they pay into the household. Mm. You know, it's literally, right, I've paid for the money. You know, I mean, I pay the rent or the mortgage. Yeah. And I give you money and this, that and the other that they don't have to contribute in It's crazy way. though, isn't it? Like my partner, I just, I said, can you close the curtains while I was finishing off work? I was like, can you close the curtains? He didn't know how to close the blind. What? He didn't know how to do that because... Even something wow. as simple as that, or I was like, right, can you like put dinner in because I was working? Yeah. And um, I, we got back and we already discussed this. And then I was upstairs and I was like getting ready to start work. And he went, are you doing dinner then? I said, no. I said, I've told you to do that. All I've asked you to do is put two pizzas in the oven. Ooh. And this man could not even do that. He could wow. not even do it. He was sat on his phone and like, instead of checking the pizza, because I think in their heads they're used to someone else doing it for them. So instead of checking it, yeah. he was on his phone and then the pizza was black. Because I was sat there, I was sat there on the sofa and I was like, God, this this is going to be overcooked. This buy ain't saying anything because this is a job I've got for you. Like you yeah, can... But he's thinking because you're there, you're going to take over and you're going to just yeah, do it exactly. anyway. Yeah. And I was thinking, no, I'm not doing it. I am yeah. sitting on my ass and I'm not going to say a thing. <laughs> you, you're on your phone, but you're, surely you should know that this pizza has been in the oven yeah. for a while now. And then he's like, oh, my pizza. <laughs> so is it that you think that's a subconscious thing with him as well? Because it's sort of like, yeah, you because, would normally do it anyway. Yeah, sort of. And it's not like it doesn't cook he does but mm, you'd I, know, have to. I know i do it better yeah <laughs> <laughs> and i do i do cook better i can't lie